Speaker, I am standing up today to contribute um, to what is a big challenging situation that's evolving in my community uh, in Cannon Vale in the Sundays. We note that the Albanese Federal Government are undertaking a 90-day review of road projects, uh, in particular across regional Queensland and other parts of the nation. But this road review is having an impact on existing projects, Mr Deputy Speaker. And just in the last several weeks, I have visited over a dozen businesses that have been impacted by the Paluma Road to Tropic Road uh, shared path upgrade project. Uh, it's, it's a project that, is to, that was to commence and has commenced $2.6 million that was um, drawn from the Queensland Road Safety Program. I've written to Minister Bailey to seek clarification. Um, this project is the uh, pre-works for the bigger upgrade of Proserpine Shoot Harbour Road, which is a project of $31.6 million. What's important to note, Mr Deputy Speaker, is neither of these projects are under the federal government's review, but yet they have come to a grow Grinding halt. And Mr Deputy Speaker, this initial project was about a shared pathway. Well, great news for all of our pedestrians, the pathway is finished, but we have a single lane of traffic into and out of Airlie Beach and Cannon Vale. We have an exposed road base and we have at the moment significant congestion issues with traffic movements of 26,640 per day. 28 out of my 32 school buses, Mr Deputy Speaker, from Airlie Beach and Cannon Vale that transport children to Proserpine are being held up in traffic that is causing significant delays because with, with Sunday transport, Mr Deputy Speaker, for the benefit of the Transport Minister, also is contracted for the public transport in the region, is continuously late to meet ferries. This road project that has come to a grinding halt where we've seen equipment moved, we have seen works completely stop um, into an intersection upgrade as well as access and driveway to businesses who were happy to put up with the pain, Mr Deputy Speaker, because they knew the long-term benefit was going to be substantial. It is dangerous at the moment, Mr Deputy Speaker. It is causing significant disruption to both commuter traffic, to my tourism industry, to public transport. And I urge, please, um, the Minister to engage with his department uh, and take up this matter.